Okay guys, hi, it's Teresa Brainerd here, and um, I am on here to show you some things that I've been working on, some dolls that I've been working on, but um, I wanted to, uh, I've gotten a lot of letters, people asking if my husband and I are okay, and absolutely we're just fine, we feel extremely blessed, because um, one, you know, God picked us to, he loves us enough to show us that he does love us in the the way that he has taken care of us so it was a blessing in disguise I mean we feel very 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 blessed and um, anyway we haven't given it much thought other than you know just to make sure that we're really safe um, now we've done a lot of different things so don't you guys worry one little bit everything's just fine and thank you so much for all your concern for me and my husband but we are just fine. Everything is really okay. So now I want to show you what I've been doing. I have since I've moved to the new house, I haven't uh, been able to make any of my dolls. I haven't been able to. Um, sorry, my nose itches. Um, so I want to show you some of the things that I've been painting for the last few days. Well, quite a few days, and I'm really happy with the way that they're turning out. Um, I am learning to do a different way on the ethnic babies, and I'm really pleased the way it's turning out. I'll show you one of them in a minute. I'll show you it last. But um, let me show you what I've been doing, you know, so you can see some of the dolls that I'm making now. So I'll show you. Okay, this is the first one. Now, it looks red in there, but it's not really, but you can see that I have... Um, molted it really well if you can see can you see that but um, anyway here's one that I'm working on and here's the little legs I don't know if you guys can see the molting on it or not but I really did put a lot on there and it looks really sweet and I haven't I have not um, put any of the veins and things like that on. I mean, I'm sorry, not veins, um, the mohair. I have not put the mohair in. These are all the little legs and stuff that goes to this one. The, one, the first one that I've showed you. And then comes, um, uh, how about if I show you the ethnic one, which I really love. This is the little ethnic one. You can see and let me show you the little arms and legs and stuff is so darling and here's the little feet I haven't got the feet down I don't think as well as I want to but here they are Can you guys see that? The light is not shining. I mean, it's making it look a little different than what it is. But I just totally love this one. The way it came out, it turned out really cute. Just so darling. But this is, um, this is actually the first time that I've painted the whole thing over and over again. So, yeah, I'm really happy with the way it came out. So there we go with that one. And then I have the Joey kit. Hang on, I'll show you that one. Here's the little Joey kit. Now, none of these have hair yet, so I, I've got to put the hair on them. You can see. I don't know if you can see the molten. It just, I use a, um, I better not tell you. Yeah, guys, I'll tell you. Actually, I have it here. Um, well, I have it here, but I'm not sure where it's at. I've been using it. So you can see the little feet. Isn't he, darling? I just love Joey. I've always loved Joey, too. My favorite kits is Pat Moulton kits, and the reason that that I love her kits the most. If you guys can, you know, get Pat Moulton kits. And the reason I now I have to buy what's on sale because we give away, um, what I buy whatever I can. But if if I ever catch her her kits on sale, I always get them. So 
there's that one. And then the last one, because the reason that I was telling you that I, I, I like to buy hers is because um, she is so sweet and so kind. And she's just the most darling lady. But, okay, now here's this one. Can you see, guys? Probably needs a little bit more red. It actually does, but you just, this light, it, you can't tell. And the little chubby legs and stuff are just very cute. His little feet, but anyway, I'm not going to show you all of them. But that that's what I've been doing lately. So yes, I am doing very good. I'm very happy to be able to get back into the reborn stuff. And when I get them all, um, now these here will be given to um, uh, a dear friend of mine, uh, the one that that passed Paisley down to me. She is just the, so sweet. She's a real sweetheart. But, um, I hope she doesn't, I'm not sure if she wants to see this or not, but I'm working on a great big doll, too. I've been, what I do is I normally try to paint two at a time, and, um, but I haven't been able to, to root lately, uh, because we're up and down, up and down, up and down, and so I've been trying to do the, the painting first, but... Anyway, I'll show you the other one that I'm working on. This is nowhere near done with the paint job, but I'll show you how big it is. Now, this will be my very first big one. Okay, so here's mine. Here she is. She's nowhere near done. I've just been molting her, though. By no means is she she ready to be painted. I mean, done. Say that she's done at all. She needs her veins, and which she does have a few, but it's hard to tell on this thing. But anyway, look how big her hands are. She's huge. It's great. Now, like I said, she. I just started. I haven't really done a whole lot on it, so it's got a long a long way to go. This one is not even painted at all. So, I'm just starting on them. So, don't worry about it yet. Look how big that foot is. <laughs> but, if you can, if you can ever find the ones that are Pat Moulton's, guys, please, please use hers. Because, the only reason I say that is, one, she's a Christian lady. And, um, she really cares about other people. And, she really cares about her dolls and what they look like and stuff. And I'm not sure if any of these are hers, and the only reason is is because I I bought so many um, kits, and I, I grab them up whenever I can, whenever they're on sale. Doesn't matter to me um, what the who who made them. If I can get them really cheap, I try to get them as cheap as I can. But if I can buy a bunch of Pat Moulton stalls, I do do that. I'm hoping I'm I'm really hoping I'm saying her name right. I never get the names right, but. I just wanted to let you go.